Hello, my name is Sarah from It's a Sarah. Welcome to my knitting and crochet podcast. Today is uh, today is Tuesday, April fifth, uh, and this is episode twenty-three. And I. from the Netherlands and um, excuse my Dutch English my English is not uh, as good as I want it to be but it's good enough to chat with you about all my knitting I guess today it's only knitting um, I do love crochet and I do it every day but um, last week I shared my granny square blanket and um, uh, I, I work on that crochet project only and um, it will come another time uh, in the podcast Today I will show you um, uh, some stuff I uh, finished and I started a new project, two new projects, um, all small things I guess and some progress in my um, working proje projects. First, what I wear. My Hydra headband from Fibertails and I wear the same yarn I used for both uh, these things. Uh, this is my... Uh, Acer cardigan, a pattern from Amy Christopher's pattern by, do you say from or by? By Amy Christopher. And uh, I knitted it uh, three years ago and uh, it's uh, quite a good pattern, quite a nice yarn. I mean, it's Cascade 220, I don't know, I don't know, remember, it's on my Ravelry. And um, under it, I wear a, a Dutch pattern. It's the Penelope Spencer. And uh, it's a pattern from Nienke, from Mooi van Draad, a Dutch designer. The pattern is only in Dutch, and I don't think it's on Ravelry. Um, and uh, it's uh, one of my favorite uh, garments, knitted garments, because uh, uh, I, I guess the, the, the fit is perfect for me. And also uh, a black garment. You can see the lace. Uh, it's nice. And you don't see it as good in black as in another color. But because it's black, it's just the perfect basic garment in my wardrobe. And I wear it all the time. I love wearing Spencers underneath my uh, cardigans. And um, I do wear a lot of um, uh, now skirts, <laughs> skirts and dresses with um, with flowers and prints and uh, and uh, many colors. And uh, a black garment is uh, uh, you can combine it with almost everything. So um, this is a superwash yarn, and I uh, last week I bought four skeins of Alafos Lopi, uh, also in black because I want a non superwash version of it too. And I. I have two colors, Alephal Slopey, for two Spencers, uh, two Penelope Spencers. I'm only searching for time to knit two of those. But it will come, it will, it will come. Uh, don't hurry, I have one and I can wear it as much as I want. Uh, also, because it's not underneath your arms, your, I don't know, is it is this an armpit? Do you call it like that? Because it's not there, um, uh, uh, you don't have to... Uh, lay it out, uh, hang it outside to uh, for for some fresh air or or wash it. Uh, it's uh, just a spencer and it's okay. So you can wear it as much as you want, and I do wear it a, a lot. So what I wear, I have two finished objects, both b both for legs. Uh, first uh, finished objects are my leg warmers and. I do love wearing leg warmers all the time. Uh, it reminds me, um, I think, uh, 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 to me as a little girl, four or five year old, I always um, uh, have a skirt with leg warmers and uh, it gives me a very warm and cozy feeling and it makes me very happy. So I wear them all the time in winter and autumn and early spring. 
um, but I discovered um, I like them the most when they are dark in a dark color. I always wear dark uh, panties. Is a panty an English word? Um, you know what I mean, I guess. And um, uh, dark uh, leg warmers are perfect. I I have knit them in colors, but it doesn't feel right to me. Huh, too much color on my legs. I don't want it on my legs. Anywhere else it's okay, but not on my legs. Uh, my socks can have uh, uh, much color, but not my leg warmers. Um, so I've knitted these. Uh, it's a uh, sport weight uh, sock yarn from my stash. I dyed it black my own and I the, the wool didn't like my dyeing process. Maybe I, I was too hard <laughs> because the wool, uh, it's super wash wool and um, yeah, it didn't become much more nicer than it was but it's good enough for leg warmers and um uh i had two skeins of 120 gram and i used 80 gram per leg warmer and uh they are 75 centimeters 50, 65 stitch no 56 <laughs> oh god oh, i'm struggling through my english Actually, I don't want to do this anymore. It, it's so, it's, uh, ha. Um, uh, I do want to do this, but when I edit my, and, and I don't want to, uh, you always write to me, oh, your English is good, your English is perfect. But when I'm editing my uh, episodes, I, all the time I think, oh no, oh no, why are you doing this? But I, yeah, I have to, I want it. Um, to uh, improve so uh, I have to go through this but <laughs> it's it's a true struggle um, but um, what was I saying 56 uh, stitches on uh, three millimeter needles and I knitted them from 75 uh, centimeters and um, I can uh, put them on my legs and oh it's a rib stitch knit three pearl one and I throw them, when it's very cold, I can throw them all up, but uh, usually I have them double and uh, this way. And I really, really, really love them. They are not blocked because the moment they were finished, they uh, uh, I put them on and I only put them off when I'm going to sleep, to bed. <laughs> I really love it and it's April now and in the Netherlands it's now a bit colder and more rainy. Uh, we had a, uh, quite a few uh, weeks, uh, a few days with very sunny and warm weather but now it's uh, it's uh, a bit colder and I enjoy wearing all my warm knits because I know the end is coming, summer is coming and then I have to put them away uh, till uh, September, October and uh, I will miss them. So uh, I enjoy wearing all the warm knits uh, extra uh, these days. Okay, another finished object are a pair of socks. It's a pair of socks. This, uh, these are my spring socks. They're not for me. They're a gift for uh, a lovely woman. Um, and uh, I love the colors. I my favorite colors are brown and black and and an uh, earthy tone colors. But I love to knit with bright colors. Uh, I need bright colors in my knitting life and crochet life. So uh, socks are perfect. Uh, I do love wearing socks with bright colors. Uh, it make, make my uh, feet very happy, I guess. And I also have now I wear brown socks. And it's so, uh, I think that the brown is much more my thing, but the bright colors, bright colored socks um, make me very happy. I love to work on them and uh, I love to see them. Uh, and uh, the lady for which they, uh, these socks are, I asked her uh, her favorite color and she said yellow and this uh, color was in my stash. It's Lang Yarns uh, Super Socks. Let's take a look. Lang Yarns Super Socks. Oh, I can find. A uh, Super Socks Color 4 Ply Swiss Lakes um, and the color Constance. And um, all long yarns yarns are gifted to me because I work for them. Um, I uh, 
love contrasting uh, toes, heels and uh, cuffs. I uh, My favorite way to knit socks is toe up and that's because of the cast on. I do, I use the Turkish cast on and I prefer it a lot um, uh, be, uh, to... Uh, it's a much more easier way for me to cast on stitches than cast on 56 stitches uh, for the cuff. Um, it, it's not hard, but uh, this is faster, I guess. And um, uh, yeah, I, I do like it. Uh, I do prefer it. It's my favorite way. Uh, so I do knit uh, toe-up socks, one at a time, but I have two needles. So I, uh, I, I knit them uh, separately, but uh, I knit a toe on the uh, first sock and then on the second, 10 rows on the first, 10 rows on the second, and that worked pretty well. I do not have second sock syndrome, but I, uh, I love that they were finished both um, uh, together. I used a little, oh, th this is the contrast color. It's Lang Yang Chavol, uh color one, two, nine. Um, and there is always a little uh, a reinforcement yarn in the middle of a uh, skein and I used it um, for the toes but I knit it all up, uh, all the toes. I, I do uh, cast on the 14 stitches then I increase till 28 so, uh, so 56 total and then I knit 10 rows straight, knit all and I used all the uh, uh, stitches uh, I used the reinforcement yarn, and I shouldn't have to shouldn't have do that because um, uh, I didn't have had enough for the heels both. But I do have uh, did have an uh, another color in my stash, a bit of orange. You can see quite a bit of orange. Um, I guess I have to. Quite a bit of orange uh, uh, shining through, but uh, only when you know. Um, this is uh, size 37 um, and I knitted uh, 55 rows, uh, knit all stitches. Then I used the Shadow Wrap Short Row heel. I love that heel, it's my favorite uh, heel at uh, this moment. Uh, then I knitted 60 rows. Uh, all stitch, uh, knit all stitch, all straight, and then 15 rows of knit two pro two. Uh, the first row I always knit all stitches because uh, you will have a nice straight line when you uh, directly uh, knit two pro two. You have the pearl bumps um, uh, in this color, and you will see them uh, more than I like the, uh, than I like. So I, uh, this is my way of sock knitting and uh, I do love them. They are blocked already and I will give them to the lady for which I made them. And I already casted on another pair of socks in this lovely project bag. It's from a Dutch lady, Rachel, from Rachel Bell. She gave it to me and I really love the vintage flowers. Really my favorite. Um, last summer I bought a skein of uh, Zaube, of Schoppel, Zaubebal, Stärke 6. So it is a sport weight sock yarn and um, I may, I'm going to make a pair of socks for my husband. His birthday is in May and um, I just cast it on uh, for the toe. One of my first pair of socks, no, the second pair of socks I knit ever was a, a pair of socks in this yarn, another colorway, but in this yarn and uh, for my husband. And uh, these socks are his uh, absolutely favorite. So um, I looked in uh, my knitting book for my notes uh, for that uh, pair of socks. And then uh, I start knitting uh, cuff down socks. Um, so uh, I could see how many stitches I've casted on, 56 also, um, on three, three millimeter needles. And let's see, um, yeah, I, I, this way, uh, this time I'm, uh, I'm knitting them toe up and I uh, had a footprint of him and I've learned that from the fish lips kiss heel. I have to do my, take my notes and, uh, and draw the lines, but uh, I love uh, this way so I can easily see when it's time to start um, 
knitting the heel. Uh, I will do this in uh, one color, no contrasting toes, uh, heels and cuffs, but just this, because this is what he wants. And then I do it. I'm not always uh, doing what he wants, but when it comes to socks, I will, I will. <laughs> that sounds very bad. <laughs> okay. Um, I've also done another new project, my first summer knit. Um, uh, it's not clear if it's going to be for me or for my 15 year old daughter. Um, uh, she wants a summer top and uh, I sent her some patterns and I thought she liked this one, but it was a misunderstanding. Uh, she thought I uh, was talking about another one, but then I already casted it on in the color I like. It is a rule for me. My daughter is 15 years old and um, I've knitted a few things for her, uh, which she didn't wear as much as I wished she would. Um, and it's not uh, good for her. She, she didn't feel right about it because uh, she feels a bit guilty. Oh, uh, my mother has knit th knitted this for me so much time. And I feel the same. I knitted it for you. It costs me so much time and you don't wear it. So my new rule is uh, it's okay to knit for my kids. But um, I will only knit things I can wear when they don't like it. It's so it, it, it have to be patterns I like and colors and yarn I like. Um, and when she uh, uh, didn't like the result of my knitting, which I understand, it's quite hard uh, uh, when you're 15 year old and you, you can't fit before. Uh, it's quite hard. I can understand. But then I will uh, fit it on my own. She is a bit smaller than I am. I'm not a big person. I'm quite small, uh, but she is uh, uh, smaller and it's uh, quite exciting <laughs> if I will fit in this. When I look at it, I don't think it's gonna happen it's <laughs> it's more a baby knit uh, this way but there's a lot of stretch in it and uh, uh, when i stretch it out um uh yeah maybe yes I, I i can when i stretch it out yes i i guess it will uh i can i will fit in it it's um la, let's see so Jessie May design my little secret crop. I made uh, my little secret crop for myself two years ago, and it's absolutely my favorite summer knitwear thing. I knit it in wool, and uh, I I wear it all the time. And I uh, decided I want another one, at least one, uh, for myself this summer. And um, uh, I had this yarn in my stash, Lang Yarns Norma. It's the first time. Uh, I knit in another yarn and wool. This is 55% organic cotton, 35% modal and 10% viscose. And um, I must say it, it knits very nice. It's it feels it's very soft and it feels okay. My continental knitting is my stitches are not as even as I want them to be. So I'm training my English style knitting with my stripe sweater, which I'm show uh, I'm going to show you uh, in a minute. Um, but um, knitting rib stitch, I have a very a uh, nice way to knit rib, rib continental. Uh, I do the Russian pearl and, and the continental knit stitch and it flows of my needles. It, it feels nice to my hands. So um, uh, although it isn't as uh, the stitches uh, aren't as straight as I want them to be, um, the feeling of uh, knitting uh, this way uh, is all good. And uh, yeah, it's okay. So I... Uh, uh, it's okay, so I do that. Uh, uh, do knit this continental, and also it is. I'm practicing my English style, and it's quite hard for my hands. It's it my uh, my hands get tired um, faster than when I knit English nay continental style. So it's good to have uh, both to do both. When I I had uh, knit English for thirty minutes, I change to continental, and my right hand can rest a bit. So uh, it works out pretty good. But um, uh, yeah, I'm uh, 
I am having fun with this project and I'm looking forward to the end result. Um, when I, uh, yeah, my, my daughter, there, there will be a point when I have to decide if it's going to be for my daughter or for me, because my daughter like a crop top, uh, likes a crop top and I do not like a crop top, not for me. And even when I knit it for her, I guess I would knit a few uh, centimeters extra than she wanted. Uh, but, um, uh, I guess the I guess it's for me. I uh, she knows what she wants and what she uh, don't want, and I want this in this color. So um, I'm very happy to knit on this, and in no hurries because uh, it's not summer yet. Okay, and then um, I have another uh, knitting project in another nice knitting bag from a Dutch lady. I do love vintage uh, fabric oh, so much. This is a project, um, a slow going project. And uh, I was just filming my Dutch episode and then I uh, discovered a big mistake. And now I'm, oh. Um, this is Langyarns Angelina. It is silk, 60% silk and 40% wool. And uh, I love the color brown with the white speckles through it. The white is the, uh, is the silk and the brown is the wool. And I, um, I was uh, uh, thinking of knitting it a sweater, uh, a, a fitted sweater with a low neckline or maybe a spencer. I, I wasn't sure, but I'm at the point I have to decide. So as you can see, I marked some stitches because I have an idea um, for a detail, but I'm I'm not sure. And uh, I have to decide if it will be a spencer or a sweater because when it's a sweater, I I from now on I will bind off some from the neck, some stitches for the neckline, and I will go back and forth. Um, when it's a sweater, I will uh, have the arm, uh, arm the the uh, sides for the arm straight for a dropped shoulder. But when it's a spencer, I will bind off some here, some shaping for the armholes there also. So I'm not sure of it, but I discovered a mistake in the Dutch episode. Um, and um, as you can see, I have uh, uh, one row of pearl stitches uh, between the rib and the stockinette. I like that detail, uh, especially when you knit in one color. And um, I like the line between uh, rib and stockinette. But when I turned it, I saw <gasps> I didn't do it all the time. I, I quit here and then I just knit the knit stitches and purl the pearl stitches, but not purl all the stitches. And um, this is the first time, of now, now the second time, but I discovered it uh, while filming. And now I love the detail and it's on the back, so I, will, I won't see it when I'm wearing it. But um, now I have to decide, will I drop some stitches and... Uh, um, how do you say it? Uh, make some pearls from the knit stitches and but I'm a bit afraid it will affect the fabric I, I think I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and when you can see it too much maybe it will work out and when um, it will be blocked you won't see it anymore but I do want that line here so I'm gonna try so I have a little more, much more time to decide if it will become a spencer or a sweater because I first have to um I don't know the word Estella I have to make the, the the mistakes good how do you say that there's an English word and I think it's kind of easy but it it don't pops up in my mind remove the mistakes remove the mistakes I guess that's it Okay, last uh, last project I want to share is uh, a work in progress. It's my stripe sweater. I showed it last week. I made some progress, but it's it's growing slowly because uh, I do it knit uh, uh, English knitting style, and um, uh, it's got it's, it's still a bit more a slow more slow than when I knit continental. Continental goes really fast, but not even straight stitches, and it still uh, does go a bit slower, but it looks uh, much more nicer. But there is a, uh, I'm a bit worried about the green stripe. I told about it in my last episode, but 
the green yarn is much thicker than the other yarns this one the this stripe is also a bit thicker because uh, i knit it with um lopi einband held double um um but this one is yeah it's really much thicker and you can feel it and you can see it you can see it's a bit stiff oh i don't know um i thought about it what will i do about it um but yeah i do want the green come back in the sweater and not only uh for the ribbing for the uh neckline and the cuffs and the hem um but i'm not sure it's a good choice but i decided just knit on and we'll see maybe i can block it My blocking makes it a bit better maybe um uh not and then i have uh th th this sweater will be a, a failed project uh, and i know i won't i will never do that again <laughs> but um uh, yeah i felt the best option was uh just knit just knit don't think just knit maybe it will work out and the fit is pretty good when i fit it uh th this the, the the neckline falls pretty good and the fit is pretty good only that green stripe and in the uh this uh, light stripe there are some increases and you can see them uh, much more than i want them uh to be seen but it is what it is and um at this moment it's not my favorite work because it's the stripes feels uh, knitting the stripes feels quite endless in the beginning it was addictive oh stripes stripes and then it, it, it yeah they flow of my needles but now there is a point when uh, i find it a bit of boring but i i always have that with my knitting work at some moment and when i go through that uh, it will uh um, it will be uh, better when uh, when the end is coming. Uh, I've measured it, and I um, after this stripe, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, and another one of these seven stripes. I guess for the good length, so it's quite a bit. But it helps me, uh, and then two sleeves, of course. But it helps me, um, uh, yeah, to know how much I uh, want uh, to. Uh, knit uh, i have to knit and the colors are uh perfect i really love the colors so that's what i want to show you uh, with uh, you this week um yes i want to thank you for all the nice words uh on my english episodes as i said um i'm struggling through these episodes and i'm wondering why why sarah why are you doing this um um but uh uh i want to thank you for all the lovely words and i hope uh, there are some people who uh, uh like to watch this and it's okay it's a good practice for me and um i hope it will be better soon <laughs> um okay i wish you very 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 much uh, fun with your knitting and crochet and i hope